Hi, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome back to another tutorial on MariaDB. In this video, we will learn how to download and install the MariaDB JDBC connector called ConnectorJ. Now, I'm going to cover the following topics. What is ConnectorJ? Where can we download it? I'm then going to add ConnectorJ to an Eclipse project. And then finally, we're going to test the JDBC connection to a MariaDB database using ConnectorJ. Enough talk, let's get started. ConnectorJ is simply a JDBC driver that will provide database connectivity to the MariaDB server using the standard JDBC application programming interface or API that is available in Java. So let's now go to our favorite browser and we're going to see where we can download ConnectorJ. So we'll simply type MariaDB connector slash J. Hit enter. We'll choose this third option, MariaDB connector J. We'll click on the download for the current version, which is 2.7.0 at this date. And you could also, if you wanted, download the sources, but I'm just going to download the binary jar. And the one that we want is the MariaDB Java Client 2.7.0.jar. So click on that one. So let's go to our downloads folder. And I'm going to take the connector J jar file and I'm going to move that to a permanent location on my hard drive. So I will just copy that. and paste. I'm going to give it a home under my development folder, programs, MariaDB. And now we'll move on to the next step to create a new project in Eclipse so that we can test the JDBC connection to our MariaDB server and database. So let's go to Eclipse and we'll right click new Java project. I'm going to call it MariaDB test. We'll click finish. Don't create a module file at this point. And here is where we're going to add connector jar file to our project. So we'll right click on the project. We'll click build path, configure build path. And we're going to add the jar file to our class path. So I'll click on class path and then click on add external jar. And we navigate to where we just copied and pasted the MariaDB Java client jar file. We'll click on the jar file, click open. We'll click apply and close. So now we see under referenced libraries, we now have access to the MariaDB Java client or JDBC connector or connector J, whatever you prefer to call it, from our MariaDB test project. And now let's create a class in our MariaDB test project that we'll use to test our connection to the MariaDB server. So let's right click on MariaDB. So let's right click. So let's right click on our source folder. Click new class. I'll call this class main. I will include a public static void main method. We'll click finish. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to create several variables. The first one is a URL that will allow us to get access to the database. So that's a string variable. And it takes the following form. It's JDBC colon MariaDB colon and then we specify the local host in our case, which is where the server is currently running. Colon 3306. If you recall back in the previous video where we installed the MariaDB server, we set up that it was going to be accessed through port 3306. So that's what this is. And slash. And, and the name of the database is test, and that's included by default with the installation. So that's our first. And the next is another string variable called user. And in our case, this is root. And the third variable is for the password. Of 
works. Once again, you would not normally code your passwords directly into your programs. They would come from some sort of persistent storage like a database or from a uh, configuration or properties file. But again, for illustration, we're going to code it directly into our program. So those are our three variables. We'll also need a variable known as a connection object. And now we will attempt to use a driver manager to get a connection. So connection, driver manager dot get connection. And we'll use the method that allows us to specify the URL and the user and the password to get the connection. And if we get this far without an error, I'm just going to do a sys out to the console. Successfully connected to database. Organize the imports. We make sure that we import the java.sql.connection. And now attempting to get the driver manager, the driver manager dot get connection method can possibly throw a, an exception. So we're going to surround with a try catch. And now let's run that. And we show successfully connected to database. So our installation of the connector J in our project was successful. In this video tutorial, we successfully downloaded and installed Connector J for Maria Database. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click the thumbs up button to like the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to view more MariaDB videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and until next time, stay safe and keep on coding.